Okay, let's get started. Hi, I'm Bill, and if this is the first time dropping into the channel, welcome. Um, I thought there might be some value, because possibly people are wondering which camera, uh, cooled camera, uh, they might want to get. I recently purchased the ASI 533MC Pro, a one-shot color camera. I already had the ASI 294mm uh, monochrome camera. And in this video, I'm going to show you the difference in... Uh, darks uh, taken with each of the cameras. Now the ASI 533 um, MC Pro ZWO says you don't need to take darks. Uh, I was down in Landers uh, last week capturing some data. I decided to take darks and I may continue to take darks. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll see as I get further down the road. But uh, the first dark I want to show you is from the ASI 294 mm a monochrome camera. And uh, while this is a 240-second uh, um, uh, exposure, and when I show you the ASI 533, that'll be a 180-second uh, exposure, uh, I think uh, you'll, you'll see the difference uh, clearly. So let's, uh, let's bring this up. So what we see here, if you look closely, and I'm always unsure of what comes across on uh, the video from the, this desktop here, but over in this area here is the amp glow. So this is a characteristic of the ASI 294mm uh, Pro monochrome camera. Um, it's also a reason why uh, when we use this camera uh, we take uh, flat and uh, flat darks instead of bias frames. Um, so here we see uh, the, the amp glow and if I were to run through all these images will kind of go through at a fast rate. I'm using PixInsight. This is the Blink tool, and we'll just kind of step through, and you can you can see that uh, you can see that amp glow there. Okay, so uh, let's get out of here. Let's close that, and uh, then let's take a look at the darks from the ASI 533. So get rid of that, and let me come over here, find what we want. Uh, I think we want it here. Fix Insight Projects M101. Uh, oh, no, I want the data portion. You know, uh, if you have a certain way that you manage all your data files and everything and project files, uh, please share it with me. I'm still trying to sort out the best way to do that. Right now, I'm keeping all my data files in a separate directory and uh, and then the PixInsight projects in another directory. But uh, back to the purpose here. Let's go to the dark. And uh, so let's... Uh, Let's step through this pretty quickly at the same rate, and then maybe I'll slow it down. And let's just slow it down and uh, go one by one. But clearly, there, I, there's nowhere in this dark frame that I see any amp glow uh, like we see in the ASI uh, 294mm uh, monochrome camera. So. Um, ZWO says you don't have to take darks. Um, who am I not to believe them? But I think for this data that I'm processing, I'm, I'm going to process some data I collected with my Xenostar 61 from the uh, Pinwheel Galaxy. And um, I'm going to use darks as part of the image processing. So anyway, um, I'm going to make a series of short uh, picks insight from my beginner's perspective type videos. You know, what I hope to show there is not that I have acquired a certain level of knowledge per se, or I'm an expert or anything. It's really trying to show that um, Pix Insight, if you break it down into chunks, uh, you can get to a reasonable level of capability in, in a relatively short period of time. So I'm gonna create a playlist uh, just focused on Pix Insight, and as I start to process these one-shot color camera images, I'll be doing short uh, videos around that. 
Uh, again, in full transparency, I did uh, purchase the Atom Block Studios online uh, PIX uh, Insight Fundamentals course. I think it cost me $180. I'm finding a lot of value in that course to help me understand uh, the various processes and workflow uh, when it comes to PIX Insight. And then I'm also supplementing that with just uh, information from the Pixin site fora and uh, YouTube videos. So what I really hope to show is that, you know, for a guy that's not the sharpest tool in the shed, uh, you know, I'm able to make some progress and uh, generate some results. Now, I'm sure it'll take me years to fully understand the full range of processes available within PixInsight, but I'm working to understand the fundamental processes that help enable me to get to a quality image where quality is really uh, judged by uh, my eye. So, all right, so hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, the darks for the ASI 533MC Pro uh, look very clean, no amp glow, and uh, so far I'm having some fun with the uh, camera even though I'm trying to shoot galaxies with my 360 millimeter focal length. All right, so if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. As always, like, share, and subscribe. I want to thank everyone for taking time to drop into the channel and check out this video. I'm in particular, I want to thank the uh, all my subscribers. Uh, really appreciate that. And again, your comments and questions are what helps drive this channel. Your comments helps other beginners like myself uh, get up the learning curve more quickly. So feel free to comment, give tips and tricks, and uh, tell me when I'm wrong and all that kind of stuff. All right, other than that, see you next time.